So what is up everyone, uh, in this video I'm basically going to be working on my 240 again. Um, long time to see, it has been a while since we actually like made a video period, like maybe two weeks. Um, the last one was uh, Jerry's car breaking down at the drift event. And if you guys don't know right now, it basically broke down mid drift, if you guys haven't checked that video out. and. We think the problem is uh, due to piston slap. That's what we think it is, which isn't really um, something that we caused or we did when we built it. Uh, so, just throwing that out there, just in case people are like freaking out a little bit on why it broke down and if you're building it to spec, like we built ours to spec. Uh, but that's what we think it is. We haven't confirmed it yet or anything like that. To be honest, the car's actually sitting right there. We haven't touched it or anything so I mean we're probably not going to be touching it at all until he's ready to like either swap another SR in or swap something else in um, and if you guys don't know which I'm going to inform you guys that this is Jerry's truck he's had it for a long ass time and he's actually got plans to sell it like someone's actually looking at it and uh, trying to buy it off him if that goes through, then he's gonna have more than enough money to freaking build the sucker. Um, so, something cool could potentially happen with the 240, is what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, that's what's happening. But as for this car right here, my 240, I'll show you right fast. Alright, so this is my KA right here, everything. Um, as for mine, I was driving it over the past weekend and then I heard like a giant exhaust leak and it just so happened to be my wastegate bolt, like one of my wastegate bolts freaking came out from the uh, manifold so my wastegate isn't like totally sealing so it's just like letting the exhaust gas out. It's down in there, I can't really see it. Oh, there's the wastegate. But it's basically right there with that crack. But that's where it's coming apart. That's where I lost the bolt at. Yeah, so I'm about to head up the fastenal right now and see if I can get some like high grade bolts and some lock washers. And yeah, just see if I can put a bolt in that so I can stop the exhaust leak. When I get back to actually change out, start the car, and I can just hear it. But yeah, that's what I'm fixing to do right now. So basically, on my way to Festnal, I thought it would be a great time to tell you guys that I will be going to Cars and Coffee of Charlotte, North Carolina um, this Saturday, which is, which I believe is the 7th of October, but yeah, I'll be up there at Cars and Coffee, uh, so if you're in the South Carolina, North Carolina, or like states around here or area, then you guys should come out, uh, I'll be there. You guys wanted to meet me and actually look at the car. Uh, I'm not sure if Jerry's gonna be out there or Chris or anyone like that. Uh, but if they do, then it's a plus. You guys get to meet them too. Um, but yeah, I'll be out there for Cars and Coffee. And also, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to anyone who has already purchased some of the new vinyl decals. Uh, they actually sold pretty fast. I still have a little bit left from like the first package but yeah thanks to everyone that actually supported us and actually bought like a sticker and everything like that and if you haven't yet then you guys should hurry up and buy the rest of them uh at southernunion.bigcartel.com uh, that's where we have like t-shirts and stickers that you guys don't already know so yeah thanks again to you guys Alright, so I just got back to um, the house from Fastenal, and basically the dude that was working, he hooked me up. I guess he had like a call that was on hold and he had to really get to it really fast, so he had to hurry up and ring me up. And But he also helped me out trying to find some lock washers, but he said there's only a pack of 100, and I'm guessing this should be a lot more, but... He said he hooked me up for like four bucks for this whole pack of 100 lock washers or whatever. Not sure if that's a good deal, but it sounded like he hooked me up when he was like, I can do you guys for like four bucks or whatever. 
yeah, that. And then I got these uh, Allen head bolts. Um, these are M8 by 1.25, and they're 20 millimeters long. Um, so hopefully these work. I think they work because I mean the tile wastecapes um, bolt size is that, and I have a precision wastecape. But I just need the thread pitch for the manifold, like where it bolts up into the manifold. So. I would say that a lot of them are like universal because I mean if the manifold has a thread pitch and you buy a freaking wastegate, the wastegate company needs to have the right thread pitch for the manifold. So yeah, I'm going to try these out. Hopefully they work and uh, I guess I'll let you guys listen to the car so you guys can hear what this freaking nasty exhaustic sounds like. So all right, you guys. This right in here, this thing is my wastegate, and I'm going to demonstrate how. See how it can like, move. It's not supposed to be able to move like that. So basically, the wastegate isn't supposed to move like that. I have my. All right, you guys. So I have my Allen bolt, whatever you want to call it, hex bolt, and then I have my actual Allen key and. Uh, Basically, this fits the one that's already still on the wastegate and this one right here. So, what I'm going to do is apply some Loctite, this stuff right here, and my lock washers, which are right here, and basically just tighten up the freaking wastegate. And hopefully my exhaust leak should go away and everything like that. So, yeah, that's what I'm about to do right now. Alright, so the wastegate should be on there pretty good, so I'm going to give it a start and I'm going to let you guys listen to it and hopefully it sounds better. So I'll compare it, I'll probably post both clips of the car actually running and me revving it just a little bit and uh, you guys can compare. Hopefully it sounds decent on the uh, camera and it's not like overpowering the mic. Alright, so that seemed to be about it with this uh, video, so all I had to do is just tighten down the wastegate. Um, I'm probably going to throw my bumper on for Cars and Coffee this Saturday, which is, when you guys see this video, it's probably going to be tomorrow, so I'm probably going to be posting this on Friday. So, yeah, hope you guys actually do come out to Cars and Coffee and actually get to see this car. I mean, it's nothing really special, but if you guys have watched like the build and everything like that, it could be pretty cool to actually like see it in person, see it actually like alive and out there in the streets. Um, Cause I know that type of feeling, like watching something and then actually seeing it in person, um, and it's like freaking, it's dope as fuck. It could be like a simple build, but it just like I don't know, it has like a special feeling to it, I guess you could say. So um, I gotta be at school in like freaking 30 minutes, so I'm gonna wrap this up. But thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you guys liked the video, and uh, I hope you guys do like and subscribe. Pick up a sticker if you guys haven't. I'll leave the uh, link to the website in the description or right here on the screen. And, uh, yeah, hope to see you guys next time. So, later, you guys.
my life.